Hi there, welcome to the next part of Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband. Last time I narrowly managed to win a battle against a superior enemy force entirely because I was backed up by a guy who didn't even realize his army was assisting me. Now it's time for me to continue working to upgrade my army and I have been thinking I really want to get a one-handed sword again. But not at Sargoth it seems. Let us go on to Fnad. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, wait. I'm going back to Sargoth, because I have prisoners to the tavern. I'll take them out for a round of drinking. <laughs> I will also sneeze quite painfully. Yes, that's the sort of thing we do here. No one in this tavern. Onward! You know, I haven't actually really gone walking around the streets of a city yet. Maybe I'll slowly make my way around to Wurcheg and show you what that's like. It's more or less the exact same thing as a village, but slightly larger. I know I've done it once or twice, maybe. Hey, it's my cattle! Leave. Okay, I did not expect the cattle to still be there. So, go to the village center. Let's see if I can't give them these cattle. Because now I can actually do a quest where I need to give people cattle, since I have it. You know, having stolen it from that other village. Moving on! Over the woman! Oh, look at that. I reared up in more or less mid -air. Any tasks? No. Leave. 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 Alright, so we're going to take our cattle and aim for... Queen. Queen? Queen. That one. There's my cattle herd of nine beasts of burden. And we're going to drive the cattle onward. Once again, doing this ridiculously difficult thing. I travel at 3.6. My... Fuck. My cattle goes in the wrong direction. Sort of. We, we want them to get to that bridge. Well, that bridge isn't really where we want them to get. We want them to go that way. So I'll go this way. God damn it, now it's dark and I can't see my cows. Cows! Cows! There's their tracks. I think those are their tracks. Cows! Where are you? Alright, I'll upgrade my soldiers. Yay. Soldier is ready to upgrade. And press space. Hopefully my cows won't continue walking off as I wait for the night to finish. So that way I'll be able to see them in the day. Late night now. Nothing happening with my cows. Sort of hoping they'll come to me. Oh dear, I've lost them completely. They'll be so scared. Uh, they probably went up this direction into the forest. Probably. Hello? Cows? Cows? Hey, look, enemies. Lots of enemies. Okay, right. following Amila. So he's trying to reach me, and he's following the other dude. But he can't really get to me. Sucks to be him. And sucks to be ambient as well. Yep, it's being raided by them now. I called that. And I'm far too small and piddling a group to help. Okay, so I've lost my cattle. In that case, let's move on. Ignore that which we technically kind of didn't really have. Oh, oh, cool. I found them again. Alright, so... Looks like they're just waiting there, that's fine. I'll go to Queen. Recruit. Three of them. Go to the village. And gallop in gallantly. Leaping over this lady. Okay, that kind of killed her, but... Some things must be sacrificed in the name of style. Okay, so here's the village elder, not looking all that old at all. Oh, how many animals do you need? Then I will bring you the cattle you need. Leave. Oh, wait, wait, before I leave, recruit more volunteers. Twelve. Leave. Alright, so go to the other side of my cattle. Now walk up to them. Drive the cattle onward. Walk away from them so that they walk in that direction. And then sort of steer... Wait, why is there only two? Oh, yes, because the other seven went into the village. They were taken by the villagers. So I'm going to catch up to my cattle, bring the herd to a stop, and go back to the village and get paid for succeeding 
in that truly difficult quest. Go to the village center. This has been profitable, I think. I didn't have to pay anything for these cattle, when normally you need to pay something like 400 to 800 a cow. And of course, you the idea is you can kill the cattle and use them to make meat for your army should you need food, but it's just so difficult to keep them with you that it's not worth it. I've galloped right past our elder here, so I'm going to leap, talk. Alright, what did I get? 400 experience? and no money. I improved my relation with them, which means earlier I got lots of stuff, this time I get little stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna buy supplies, and actually no, no, I'm not, I'm going to go to the cows. Where are the cows? Two cows should be like in the forest here? Yeah, that's right. Cattle herd. Slaughter some of the animals. Two! Now I get four slunk hunks of fresh beef. Now I'm going to go to Sargoth again, and sell the beef. Truly, this is a dynamic and interesting game. Actually, wait, there's a bridge here. I'll go to Tyr instead. That way, I don't need to go back to Sargoth yet again. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. One of these, and one of two of these. Yay! Joyous day indeed. Enemy of trolls spotted near Ambien. Those are probably the ones who were following me on the other side of the river earlier. So, folks, what have you been up to lately? Um, I've been good. I have done so many parts in the last few days that I've really run out of topics. It's quite horrendous. It means I actually have to talk about the game, which, as we can all see, just isn't going very well. So sell all this fresh beef, Linen, maybe? Flax? Maybe? Dye? No, I can get better prices for dye than that. I'll sell the leatherwork, certainly. Um, yeah, I'll sell the linen for that much. Boom! Even more money! Head back, go to the tavern, see if I can't sell those prisoners here. Mercenary crossbowman, traveler, tavern keeper. Let's see what the traveler has to say. I'm looking for one of my companions, Tashiva. The Shiva is currently at Veluka. Farewell. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going back to get my lady friend, Veluka. So we are sort of at war with them, but my lady friend deserves the rescue. Those are just manhunters, so I'm not going to go and kill them. I'm kind of annoyed that I'm allied to a faction that's really at war with everyone, isn't it? I mean, seriously, guys. So he's traveling to Drim. Hmm. I'm going to press... Okay, wait. He's fleeing from a much smaller force that I will go and engage. But he has joined my side. You don't have the advantage. See, we have 101 men. You have 35. For some reason, I've still got the option to retreat. But that isn't happening. Let's do this. So, Jarl Turgan, a very stylish man. Look at that head. Yeah, that's right. And I gonna charge ahead. I don't have any sort of cavalry. It looks like he doesn't either. So I'm just gonna let all the foot soldiers charge in behind us. And we're going to... I don't want to meet them going uphill. So I'm going to sort of go around. Just like Jarl Turgan has decided to do on the other side. Now uh, this force looks to be mainly crossbowmen. So there's one down. There's another one run over. Here's one hurt. And spin. Oh, I cut him. I cut him good. I do wonder. I have uploaded something like three parts now, and I do wonder how many of you can actually read that little text on a YouTube video. Um. Okay, so we've lost one Nord recruit. That's sad. But he was only one of the recruits. Now my enemy is starting. My ally, rather, is starting to really suffer. My horse is too. But it looks like I am getting the best end of this battle. Very little failures on my part. On my army's part. If, if you look at my horse's health and my own. Plenty of failures there. So here's one of the... I see now why they said that the enemy has the advantage of us. Their troop is mainly trained. While I have, as you know, a very, very young army. Um, by which I mean inexperienced. So I've just lost a dude and I couldn't save him. But boom! 
cut into the shoulder there, I think. As you can see, I'm getting that delicious coating of ready bloodness that I like to see. And that means I'm doing successfully. Uh, I've got arrows coming in from over there. Or bolts. I'm just gonna boom! Kill him during lag. And keep lagging for a long time. I'm blaming you guys for this, by the way. Uh, okay, this is painful. What I am going to do is finish this battle and then start the re continue the recording, okay? See you on the other side. Okay, I pressed the button and it looks like we're back to the lag, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've won the battle, as you can see, so I'm just going to go ahead and... What? Not retreat. Alright, all right, hang on, hang on. Okay, yep, still... Oh, no, no, we're still lagging. Man, look at this. Okay. I am going to go ahead and leave this conversation. See if closing and reopening the programs doesn't help. Sorry for all the confusion, but since this game auto-saves everything, I can't really do anything without recording, and I can't record half a video because then I'll get bored. So we'll be back in a second. I think the problem is that my computer had been switched on for several days in a row, and that would be why it's still going. Enjoy this spectacularly small part of Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband. Next time, when I feel my computer is capable of handling the lag, you will see what I do about this big army here. Hopefully, I'm going to get his help. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully. Until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.